Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today, I'm gonna show you such fun stuff. We're gonna use this clip art and we're going to make wine labels, like wine bottle labels, and also little stickers to go with it, um, all for a bridal, a bridal shower. So it's so cute, um, can't wait to show you. So, okay, first thing is, this is from Creative Fabrica. Another reason why I love Creative Fabrica, I know you know I love Creative Fabrica. I love them for their fonts. There's such a great selection but also you know there's lots of images and like in this in this case clip art which i never even thought i would be into but um it is so darn useful so anyway <laughs> um i have the membership so whenever um i go in and i find something that i like i can just download it so it's included in my membership everything on the site um so i don't know exactly how much it is if you were to buy it um, as a single purchase but if you choose to after seeing this and after seeing all my videos you want you also want to go the membership route i actually have a special discount it's a dollar to try it and i believe the dollar is for the whole month so you have a whole month to see if you would actually use it and then if if you like it then it renews at the regular price but even at the regular price i have a discount it's 30 percent off so you would use the useless crafter 30 and it would automatically apply every month that it renews so that's what I have. All right, uh, let's get started on this. So I was challenged with doing, you know, some sort of bridal shower party fever table. So we're gonna be using this clip art and Canva. And the reason why I'm using Canva is because if you go and upload this into Design Space, then because it's clip art, it's gonna be, it's gonna be categorized as, you know, print then cut. So if you go that route, you're going to be limited to 6.75 by 9.25 inches. That's the max that it will allow you to print and then cut. And the paper that I'm using is eight and a half by 11, and I didn't want to lose out on that space. I also knew that my wine labels are just little rectangles, so that I can easily use my paper cutter and just you know chop down i don't need my cricket to cut around that <clears throat> excuse me and then the other thing that we're doing is um the little sticker labels for the cubes that you know we're going to put the the candy in and that also instead of i mean i guess i could have made them little circles because i have a whole like one of those hole punchers that are you know two inches and one and three quarters whatever um, but I also decided to make it easy and use squares. Um, however, even with the squares, because actually now that I think about it, cause I did this a while ago, um, the squares I did in design space. So you know what? I'll, I'll be able to show you both. So, all right, let's get started. So first thing is I love using Canva. Canva is super easy. So once you purchase and you download, you need to upload it. You're going to upload it into Canva just like you would in design space. So let's go to Canva. And the way I do it in Canva is I'm going to create a design and I always start with just something new and you can do custom size. So I'm going to change this to inches and oh, I'm just going to use eight and a half by 11. So it gives me a blank page. Now, you know, sort of like the same way that I design in, in design space, I don't worry about my sizing at first. I'm just gonna design it and then I'll resize it afterwards. But you would go into uploads and you would upload media and then you would find it just like you would in design space. I already have it uploaded and you get to see all the stuff that I've been working on. But um, here it is. So I uploaded a few things. The, um, I used this one. This was for my boxes. So I used this one. And then I used this one for the wine label. And I thought this was so pretty too, but I ran out of things. Oops, it didn't upload. Give me a second. So you just click on it. Why is it not? Oh, there it is. Okay. And this one's so pretty too. I just, this would have actually been really cute on the candy box, but I didn't use it on the candy box. I just wanted to throw it out there. 
super easy. Okay. Um, now for the candy box, what I did was, or I'm sorry, the wine label. I use this as the bottom of my wine label and then you just click on it, right? It's already highlighted. I'm gonna hit Control C, Control V and make a copy of it. And then this one, I'm going to flip vertically. So here's my box. Oh, I have my wine label. Actually, I think I did it like this, sorry. Here, and I'll actually, let's go to, I think I have it up, yeah, here it is. So I'll show you what the wine labels look like so we know what we're trying to achieve. <laughs> um, the other thing is I like Canva because you can browse through their, their ready to make designs and then you can um, then you know go and coordinate afterwards. But you see, I here's the thing. And then what I really like about it is, well, I, there's so many things that I like about it. Hold on, sorry is now if I go to text, and I don't remember the actual font that I use. Let's see, recently used. Oh, you know what, I think I used this one. And see, you can see like some of their examples and you can just click on it and use it. I think this one I really liked. Um, yeah, so, so this was their example. And all you need to do is you can ungroup it and then you can get rid of, you know, Charlie and Katie are engaged. So, and I'll just delete it. And then here, this, I think I changed this to lens. Yep, that's my font. Okay, so what's cool is this is highlighted, right? So I'm gonna click on the color, the text color. And what's nice is it brings in the colors of whatever is on the page. So then you can easily coordinate and make up like a whole comprehensive, cohesive look, right? So I think I may have gone with this one. And so um, let's see, I'm gonna get rid of this so we can start to recreate the wine label. So I did this and then, you know what? I may have used, so let's get rid of this. I think I used this font for the date. And so, you know, this is like a super easy app to use. So August, uh, what did I put? Say, <laughs> so did it, uh, oh, bridal shower. Okay, so here we go. I did it like that. <clears throat> I did. Okay. So then here it is. Here I want to go and do center aligned, right? And then I think I did this in the same. But here is the other cool thing. You can then click on your text box, go to effects, and you can, you know, like get a little bit of a shadow. Like if that shadow's too much, you can make it smaller. But it's just all the little things that you can easily do here to design it that really makes it look professional. And I am in no way a professional when it comes to designing. I'm such a newbie. <clears throat> I need these tips and tricks to kind of like make it look fancy. <laughs> so, all right, here is my wine label. Let's make this a little bit smaller. I want it to look something like this. I'm making everything relative to this piece right here, and then we will resize it all in a bit. And you can see it's all centered right here, right? So I can click on these three things and uh, go to position, I think, yep and I can center it here. Oh, I don't, okay. The reason why it centered it like that is my lens box is too big, right? It needs to really just cover her name. Now I can grab all three things and go to position and now center it. So everything's centered. If I like that, 
then now I can go, well, you see how this is capturing more of that white space? I can do this. Okay, so here's my wine label. If I like everything, I can resize it. So now you want to resize it to whatever your wine label is. I can't remember exactly what I did, but maybe like about four inches. I'm gonna make it just a little bit smaller than four inches because I want two rows, okay? So I'm gonna delete this one for now. So now I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna grab this, move it over, and then Control C, Control V, get a copy, and put it over here, right? So now I've got two labels. When I grab everything, Control C, Control V, I'm dropping it down here, and then I'm gonna grab all four, copy and paste, and here are my eight labels, right? Printing all the way, you're gonna just chop it with your um, paper cutter, and you've got your wine labels. All right, let's add a page. I mean, that's how easy it is, I, right? That took seconds. Okay, let's go and now do um, the candy box. So go back to uploads. We're going to go find this one. And we can do two candy boxes. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know what's going on with me. Okay, I'm going to copy from up here. I want the two text. And then I'm going to drop it over here. Oh, there it is. And for now, I'm going to make this really big just so that we can see it and design it. Okay, and I think I put, let's go over here and see some of my old designs. Oh, and you can see on this one, I did something with bridal shower to give you like that shadow effect because it was kind of light. So I wanted to make sure that it printed out, you could see it. Um, let's see, let's see, okay. <clears throat> um, okay, so there's this one. And then this is the sign that I made and we put it in a gold frame to just put on the table. So it's an eight and a half by 11. I know we're doing kind of like a lot of projects in one. But on this one, you can see I'm used, I then use the same thing that we use for the candy box and for the wine label, but making it look a little different, right? But all still the same and using the same fonts again, right? But with the same color scheme. So everything kind of matches, um, but not like exactly the same, not a duplicate. And I'm trying to find my candy boxes. Where is my, did I lose my candy box? Okay, I may have lost my candy box. Let me see if it's, no, it's not on here. That's the one we were using. Okay, <clears throat> so give me a second, because I have the candy box, I have pictures of it. Okay, what did I use? Okay, from Miss to Mrs. is what we did, so let me do that. So, this one we're gonna change Miss, oops, Oh, you know what? I'm going to do this. So here's Miss. <clears throat> I'm going to copy and paste and change Miss to Mrs. And then this, I had two. And then I'm going to copy and paste and change from. All right, so here is, now we're just gonna work with sizing it in relations to this, okay? <clears throat> so I think I did something like this. Oops, oh. I'm gonna click on it and you can either click on the box and change it here. So let's change it to 25 and see what that, okay, so that might be good. I'm gonna change this to 25 
to match it. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> I think I did something like this for the candy box. So now I want to re. Okay, so let's let's change all of these. This thing is driving me crazy today. I want to click on this because I want to make I get rid of that comment. My comment box is driving me nuts. Okay. Um, it's just this one. Let me move this over. There. And you can, you know, obviously play with this. I'm just showing you quickly how to design it. Okay, so now we have, oh my gosh. You want to grab everything because you want to resize it at this point, right? Oh my, and my two is still too big. Hold on. So I'm just making this smaller so that we can resize the whole thing. Now I think my box was, I, it was maybe like a two and a half inch box. So let's make this smaller to, let's make it two inches <clears throat> or 2.2, okay? So you can print it from here like this, right? You can either do this or I told you I actually brought it into design space, right? So from here, if you want to just print, because you're going to use your cutter, your paper cutter to do this, you can do this. So I'm just copying and pasting and... You can do it like that, right? Or what you can do is you can, let's make a copy of this. And I'm just gonna bring one in because we're gonna bring it into design space, okay? So follow me here. <laughs> let's see, let's get rid of this. Okay, let's download it. And I'm only gonna download this one particular page, okay? So I wanna download just the third page. I'm gonna click on that and download. Okay, in the meantime, let's go to design space. I I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but I've been using Canva a lot. And there's the, the free version and then you can also pay to get, you know, more um, more features. All right, what just happened? Oh, there it is. My design space is coming up. Give me a second. <laughs> All right, here we go. So you saw it's downloaded, right? It's here. So we're gonna go to new project. And go to upload upload image, browse, and it'll be in my downloads folder. So downloads, here it is. And I always just pick, pick complex and then continue. And then here's our image, continue. And I want the print and cut and upload.
Okay, so it's showing kind of big. Ooh, I can fix it. I think I was, I didn't really clean up everything, but we can easily do that. Let's go to ta uh, shape and bring in a square. And we're gonna make this square just big enough to fit that. Okay, so we're gonna grab that and slice. <clears throat> so it will give me, you know, just that little square that I want. And I'll show you in a second. So, uh, you know, so here's our little square. Everything else, we can just grab it all and delete. So here's our little cube, it's two and a half, right? Let's say we want it to be 2.25. So we're resizing it and we know that, well, let's test it out, okay? So let's go to make it and let's see how many we can make and fit on, on one page. So on here we have the one, but I want to do, let's see if it will fit 12. So it's only letting me do six per page. And if you remember, if we had done this in Canva, right, we would have gotten another row right here and another row right here. So you can kind of see why I, you know, you might want to just print from Canva. What you would do in Canva was you would download it and then open it up and then print however you normally would print. But let's, so we know this is going to be six, right? So let's cancel. Let's see if we can use a hack. So let's go to shape and bring in a square. We know that we're limited to 6.75 by nine and a quarter. So we're gonna unlock this, change this to 6.75, 9.2, oops, 9.25. So here is our box. This is how much we can actually fit in there. Let me bring this to the front. Arrange, send to the front. All right. We're gonna copy and paste, and we're just gonna try to fit as many as we can on here. Okay, so actually I can't fit another one there. Oh, we can kind of, if we made this, we can recut this. We can trim this a little bit, right? Because we have a little bit of excess here. So the way we would do that is let's bring this out here. Um, sorry, let me put it here. And let's bring in, I know, but these are all the things that you would run into, right? So uh, that's my excuse. <laughs> okay, so remember there's like a little edge right there, right? You can see the little white. So we're gonna do this to trim it, slice, Right, so we trimmed it a little bit, and then let's trim this side as well a little bit, right? Like right there. And we're gonna slice that. So now our little label, okay, so we can get rid of all the excess stuff. So let's delete that. And let's delete these, because these are too big. So this is two inches by two and a quarter. So yeah, that will fit three across, right? So copy, paste. Oh, so we can actually make it a little bit bigger. So we can grab all three and make it just a little bit bigger. Okay, um, let's, uh, hold on, let's align these three. Let's go to align, and we want to align top. Okay, and okay, so now we'll grab these three, copy and paste.
So we're able to fit three more than we normally would have by doing this. But on Canva, we were able to fit, um, let me go back to Canva and see how many we were able to fit. I'm getting there. <laughs> we were able to fit 12, right? So we went from six to letting Design Space just, you know, print out what they think we can print out. We were able to print six um, by manually Placing it together, we were able to get go from six to nine. And then if you just done it in Canva, you would have gotten 12. So you can kind of see where this goes. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to get rid of the background. And this you want to attach. So now when we go to make it, See, we were able to get an extra three printed, but there's still so much space, right? Anyway, so from here, if you click continue, it will ask you to send it to your printer. You'll send it to your printer. Then you put it on the mat just like this on your 12 by 12 cutting mat. You want to go to the top left corner, you know, line up your paper like this, and then it will cut out the individual squares for you. I, you know, another one of my favorites, I use Neato products. Um, so the needle labels, um, I have a code, it's FANS25 for 25% off. I literally bought hundreds of sheets. <laughs> so in my art room, I always have a hundred, hundreds of sheets to do sticker labels. They look like store bought labels. You will see in my post, in my Instagram post, um, they, they look like I ordered them. I mean, that's how much I love these labels because I have a regular printer. It's the Epson Workforce 7720, 7720, sorry, right? Yeah, 7720. I used to just think my printer was blah, um, but I didn't use it with the right settings and I didn't use the right products. So there you have it. And I went from like just blah to like loving print projects. All right, so I wanted to show you that. When you go to print, you always wanna change your printer settings to whatever it is that you're printing. So like with the needle labels, it, I, you know, I use like ultra premium glossy, right? So that it's printing the right thing. I choose best quality. That's what you want to get your um, labels looking like you ordered them. All right, let's go back to Canva for a second. I know this one's like so full of information this sign so the sign i actually didn't print because i wanted to print on a really nice cardstock paper and i didn't think my printer could handle it i didn't even bother testing it but for like a dollar fifty i went to staples and got it printed and it looks amazing but let's show you how to do this design so you recognize the champagne and last name that's the same font that we did miss and mrs and lynn's name right so you could just Everything kind of ties in together, but I added this color. So like for this one, all you do is when you go to the text box, you can see I used it from here. It's the other color that's within here. I'm wondering if I should have also brought out the green, but I don't know because we did the straws. We did the pink and gold straws. The ribbon is in pink for the candy boxes and the ribbon for the champagne was a gold. So it just all tied in. I just can't wait to show you all those pictures. But on this one, we, we brought in both images, right? This is from the candy box. This is from the wine label. You just plop it down, enter in your text. That's how easy it is. Then this ring is just like the image library and design space. You would go to elements and I'm gonna put in diamond ring. And you're gonna resize it like you would however you, you know, however you want to, right? Um, I don't see uh, the ring I used. It kind of looks like this one, but I know it's not that one. So weird that I can't find that ring. I don't remember, maybe I just typed in ring, but let's just say it was this one. <coughs> One 
What's nice is that one's highlighted, right? Oh, hold on. Okay, you can click on the color and again, pick the colors that are already available on your, like on the current palette, which is just, I mean, seriously, I just love it. Look how easy that is. And then you can change everything. That's how you do it. So let me show you if, let's say this is the one that you want, you're gonna download it. And I'll pick on the on the pick list, but you know, you want the high quality image. It's perfect for that one. Download. So when it's done downloading, it's gonna be down here, right? So once it pops up, I'll show you how to print it. Cause I did get that question. Someone asked me how I print from Canva. I don't know if you can print directly from Canva, but this is my process. You download it and then you go to um, open it. So I'll bring over the page that it opens. Okay. And then from here, when you're viewing it, I go to print and that's it. So, all right, let me know what you think. I mean, look how beautiful. So when it printed out, do you see how the gold has like this glitter shim shimmering-ish to it? Um, it came out. I mean, it just looks like glitter on there. I absolutely just love this project. Okay, comments, questions, let me know. Thank you so much. Subscribe so that you get your notifications as well. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks, guys.